know about some of your mindful techniques. You don't have to give away your workshop. I do want people to check you out, and but this is only a half hour podcast. So how are some of the ways that you're bridging comedy, improv, corporate culture, and mindfulness, you know, maybe give us a little bit, you don't have to give us like a, you know, something you do in your workshop, but just, you know, explaining so that people can get a better understanding who might not understand, like I said, that much about the improv world or the mindfulness world. Yeah, totally. So my all-time favorite topic in this, uh, especially when we're just getting started, is I like to think about conversations like tennis so like if we're playing, even if you don't know anything about tennis, you can visualize a tennis court and two people on either side of the net, right? They hit the ball over the net, then the person goes to where the balls hit and they hit it back over the net, right? Um, so if you think of like the tennis ball as, as, a, as the conversation, I like the, I, I like the analogy of people like challenging each other and hitting the ball and challenging spots in the court. But the other person, this, this, this is the key, the other person doesn't guess where the ball is going. They wait to see where the ball is going and then they go to it. This is how good conversations work. You know, it's like if while you're asking me this question, Rosie, if I'm thinking about what am I going to plug at the end of the podcast and I'm not present and, and, and listening to what you're saying. But if I like keep my mind clear and if I practice just being right here in this moment, not looking at my phone, not wondering you know, anything else besides being curious about what you're saying, then it gives me a really great chance to go wherever your question was and answer it in a way that shows I'm present. And then hopefully I'm adding enough information for you to respond back to me and do the same thing. So we're like, we're so like I'm hitting the ball back over the net with my response. You're going to where I hit the ball and sending it back over. And so it's like a great, ideally our conversation is like a, a volley where we are ch uh, challenging each other uh, keeping things in bounds, whatever in bounds is for us, and it's playful. And you know, of course, you charge. You know, for those of you who know tennis, of course, every now and then you might charge the net. You know, and like, <laughs> um, but like, but but that's just like after you earn it. You know, that 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 that's like after you establish a rhythm between the two people. And for those of you listening to this, if if it sounds like I'm describing just like a good conversation and you're, and, 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 and you're thinking like, okay, what's the big deal? That's, that sounds like a good conversation. It's like, you're right, but you're probably thinking of this with your best friend or with your partner or someone you love a whole lot. Think about it with people who you don't know. Think about it with someone who you don't have a good rapport with or a history with and do this with them. That, that's when it opens up. Like, don't think about the people you already have great communication with. Um, that's like my favorite that's my favorite like intro level, like mindfulness and conversation and creativity tidbit. Yeah, I think that's a really great point. And what you're talking about is because people are having conversations with friends and family, they're already being present because they have that comfort level. And something that I can totally relate to is when I have a podcast guest that's too prepared for the podcast and they have their talking points. And then I ask them a question that's not on their talking points. And they're like, uh, right, because they're so attached to that prepared information, that script. And so they're not being in the moment. They're not being mindful. They're not being present because all they can think about is like their 10 talking points or their five talking points. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's awkward when you try and shoehorn that into a conversation. I mean, this is true no matter what the context is. If it's a job interview, a first yeah. date, a sales call, a presentation, if you're trying to shoehorn your stuff pitch in there yeah. and not being in the moment, <laughs> I think that it's it's not authentic. It's, you know, you are not in the moment. It's like all the bad things start to swim around where if you come into it being really pure, really like it's just me and you right now in this moment. I know the context of why we're here, but I don't know the questions you're going to ask me. I'm, I'm giving you all of me and I'm excited and I'm happy to be here. I think all those things equal, probably going to have a good conversation.